Welcome back. In this video, we're going to explore the topic of inheritance in Java. Inheritance is a very important object-oriented concept that comes into play when we begin to declare classes that share attributes and functionality but are not exactly the same. Rather than starting with a high-level description, I think this is going to go best if we really jump right into a problem. So, to get us started, I've created a really basic Java program. In this program, we declare two Java classes, the book class and the poem class. Books and poems all store a number of attributes. For example, our book can have a title, an author, a publisher, and a genre. It takes all these attributes as constructor input and provides a single public method, the print method that we can use in our main program to print out information about any books we create. The poem does something very similar. It has a couple attributes, a print method, and we set its attributes through its constructor. I whipped up a really quick main function to utilize the book and poem classes. This function creates a new book and poem and then prints them out like we see here. This program works just fine, but it's much more complicated than it needs to be. If we take a look at our book and poem classes side by side and just look at their member variables, we're going to immediately see that both book and poem share two member variables, title and author. And the actions they take with these member variables namely printing them out to the screen, are performed and achieved in very similar manners. This is a good sign that book and poem should be inheriting from one common class. This becomes extra easy for us to see when we think about books and poems as the physical objects that they represent. We can make the statement that books and poems are both forms of literature. Once we've come to this conclusion that books and poems share certain fundamental attributes, the attributes of all literature, we can start to break these classes down into component parts. Our book, for example, our book class, for example, has two real pieces. It has a title and an author, which are attributes we associate with all literature. And then it has a publisher and a genre which may not be unique only to books, but which we don't necessarily consider all pieces of literature to have. So how can we exploit this knowledge? Well, we can build our book and poem classes so that they share on a fundamental level their nature as pieces of literature. But to make this happen, we're first going to have to teach our program what a piece of literature is. To do this, we'll create a brand new class and we'll call it literature. And we'll assign to this class the attributes that the pieces of literature we've so far declared share. In our case, books and poems are already declared pieces, share titles and authors. And that makes some logical sense to us to make the statement that all pieces of literature will have both a title and an author. From here, we'll flesh out our literature class like we would any other. We'll give it a constructor, and in this case our constructor will take two variables, a title and an author and assign them to the fields, much like we did with our poem and book classes. 